Hey guys, it's Steph, because who else would it be? Like, imagine if you just clicked on one of these videos and someone else was here. Maybe I should do that at some point. Content. Today's video is all about, and you know, you already know what's coming. Trying to make a move. And the brand that we're reviewing today is a brand that will not leave me alone. Like literally, I cannot go on my Instagram, my TikTok, Facebook, anything without seeing a sponsored post from them. And then I've even had emails from them, which by the way, sorry I didn't reply and I completely ghost you guys because I literally thought it was a scam. Because honestly, I've been getting so many DMs that are like, click this link to get me a free product from this brand. And I thought it was a complete scam, so, uh, I can confirm that it is not, as you can tell, otherwise this video would be super short, but I will be going through my DMs later on today and uh, clicking that link and giving you guys a free product because yeah, sorry I thought it was a scam. I thought all of this is a scam, but turns out it's not. But anyway, today we're going to be reviewing Timu, Temu, Temu, TMU, Temu, Temu, Tema, Timu, Th this brand here on screen now. And it's like super cheap, like, ridiculously cheap. I think the most expensive product that I got today was like just over four pounds or something. And I got a lot. I literally got 26 items of makeup for 55 pounds and like 68 P or something. And I made a saving of like 88 pounds. I don't really understand. Like they added some sort of coupon. I'm not really sure, but the delivery was free. And honestly, I was prepared to like say bye bye to that 55 pounds, thinking that it was never gonna show up or it was gonna show up in like 2025, but it arrived in like a week, which I actually feel like is quite good considering that the shipping was free. And so I would like to make a formal apology. Like maybe I should do like one of those little like notes app apologies that every YouTuber seems to do. Uh, I would like to apologize to Team U, T, T, M, U, T, 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 M, U, T, M, U, uh, whatever your brand is, uh, because it's not a scam. And you really can get makeup and loads of other products. I'm gonna do another haul soon, actually. Let me know if you guys wanna see that for like crazy cheap. But we're gonna be doing a full face of this brand's makeup and we're gonna see if it's actually any good. And oh my God, there are so many potential dupes today. Like, I don't even know how this brand have gotten away with it. There are dupes that are like, not even dupes, just like straight up copies. Like. It's, it's madness. So anyway, let's get into the video. The first thing I actually do wanna show you guys before like I actually do any of the makeup is this thing here. Now, if this looks questionable, but if you guys have seen like the contour cubes, they're just like this little holder for ice that you literally just fill it with water and put it in your freezer. This cost, I have literally all of the like prices here, cost, this cost £2.89. I think the contour cubes are like somewhere between like 10 and 15, maybe even 20 pounds, depending on where you get them. But it's literally a holder for ice water. And I've tried this once before and it's so cold, but it's like one of the hottest days of the year so far in Cornwall. And this actually, this feels really good right now. Like it feels horrible, but nice at the same time. I'm gonna go and put this back in my freezer. Look, you can see it's already melted quite a bit, but I'm gonna go and put this back in my freezer and we're gonna get onto the makeup. Okay. That scared my cats. There's more. The first product is one of those products that I don't know how they got away with this. Please tell me in the comments, leave a timestamp as to what you think this is. I'm gonna give you three seconds. One, two, three, okay, I'm bored. Does this not look like the NYX brow glue? And this cost me, let me just read my notes, £1.49. Oh damn, it literally looks, even like the logo, the brand is called like DNM, but the logo is very much like NYX, NYX, whatever it is you wanna say. It's very much that. So I'm gonna give this a go because I always like to do my brows first. It's actually got a bigger spoolie than the NYX brow gel, which I actually kind of prefer because I feel like the other one's a little bit too small. It doesn't feel as sticky as the NYX brow glue, but we'll see if it does like stick my brow hairs down. Okay, probably need to zoom you in a little bit. Wait! That didn't really do much, but anyway. Okay, let's see how that settles for a second, but first impression seems all right. Okay, this one made me lull a little bit internally because this looks identical to the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. It's called the Kanya, I can, Kanya Believe It. Great, great joke, everyone. Uh, babe Skin. It's not baby skin, it's babe skin. So this is the primer and this cost me $1.99. Oh, it actually looks very, very similar. I haven't used the baby skin primer for years. I don't even know if they still necessarily do it, but it does remind me of it. 
Also, can we get a thumbs up, please? A little like on the video for literally putting things on my face. I have, I have no idea what they are. Um, I've seen a few reviews and people have said that it's like legit and their products are good and stuff. But after I did that Amazon video, let's insert a picture here now. Um, I could lose half of my face. So please, one like, one prayer for Steph's face. It's got like a slight little smell to it. Applies quite nicely. It's not taken off any of my moisturizer underneath. I'll take it. Okay, my friends, the next product is one that I am probably the most excited about because if this is an actual dupe, then I'm gonna be buying so much of this. So this is called the Master Styling Makeup Foundation Solution and it might not necessarily look like it. No, it does actually kind of look like it. This, I'm assuming, is supposed to be a dupe of the Armani Luminous Silk or some kind of foundation that they do. I picked the shade like, I think it was like natural one or something because the swatch on the website looked like it kind of matched, but I felt like this will be a little bit too light for me, but that's fine. We have a contour stick later on today, so we're gonna hold out for that. But yeah, this was, I've literally got, I've literally got an A4 piece of paper here right now, just like telling me what all the prices were. This was £2.69, which is probably one of the cheapest foundations I've actually ever used. Dude, why is it actually kind of decent? This actually, <laughs> This actually looks really, really good. Okay, we're gonna go with a bit more on this side and on my forehead. Now that actually looks so good on my skin right now. Like I said, I've had like probably 10 emails from this brand over the last like couple of months or so. Um, and I just wanna say, I'm really sorry for ghosting your emails because I did think you were a scam, but it, feel free to email me again. I'm sorry, we can like make amends and everything because Actually, so far I'm really impressed and I feel like foundation is one of those things that if it's gonna suck, if anything's gonna suck, it's probably gonna be your foundation. But this actually looks really nice, I'm really impressed. So um, please feel free to email me again. I promise I won't put it in my spam this time. Thank you. So this here is the Daryl, might be pronounced, I'm probably pronouncing every single word that I say in this video completely wrong, but this is their full cover concealer corrector. And I got it in the shade number 04. And the reason I got this was because it actually kind of looked like a little NARS concealer, which normally retails for a whole lot more than what I paid, which was, check out my notes here, uh, £2.24. The color actually looks kind of decent. It's got a similar sort of applicator as well. So I'm gonna pop that under my eyeballs and we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, oh, that's giving me coverage, you know? That actually might even give me more coverage than the NARS concealer, which I do really like, but normally I use that as more of like a brightening concealer than anything else. But this is actually giving me freaking coverage, dude. But now that actually looks really freaking good. Macro camera, hello. Macro friends here. That looks really freaking good. They're like two totally different eyes right now. I'm like 80 years old, 60 years old. Dude, I look like a freaking weirdo right now. I look like I'm naked, covered in like clay. Next, we're gonna add to that clay. We're gonna move on to this eye primer here. This is called the Averil Eyeshadow Primer. So it's a full coverage waterproof concealer, but it is an eyeshadow primer. And the reason I got this is because look, now I've got like the pink version here, but this is like a blatant copy of the P. Louise eyeshadow base, which I use all the time. And this cost me £1.79. So I'm gonna pop this on now because I mean, I'm beige out everywhere else, so why the hell not? Oh, it's actually a pretty decent color to be honest. That looks exactly the same. So now we're gonna move on to this contour stick, which is a freaking dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury sticks. They had like blusher ones. Dropped it on the floor. They had blusher ones, they had contour and bronzer ones, and they also had like highlighter ones as well, but I picked up the contour one, and like, it's literally the same kind of packaging. Like, I'm really sorry to Timu, Timu, Tim, 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 I'm really sorry if this video gets seen by brands that I maybe sometimes work with, and they then come for you. I'm, you did this to yourself, okay? You, you did this, I didn't do this, so sorry in advance if, uh, you know, you get yeeted off the earth or something. But it's literally got like, the same sort of applicator and everything like that. This looks very dark, okay. Oh, bollocks. Okay, don't, not sure I like this. This is, this is definitely contour. On the website, it looked a lot more bronzy. This is like, oh, oh no. <laughs> 
This is great. I'm gonna have to like take some of this off here quickly. Just swipe, 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 swipe. Just to like sharpen me up. Damn, that's a gray ass contour. Uh, if they have a different color of this, I couldn't see that they did any other sort of like contour color. If they do, then it will probably be a lot better. This shade though for me, I mean, when I only use a tiny bit, I haven't even blended it out properly there, but when I use a tiny bit, it's actually kind of nice. I made a mistake here. Mistakes were definitely made, but the formula seems decent. The color's a little bit too like dark and cool tone for me as I apply loads of it to my face. Let me know what you think. I actually don't mind that. Wish it was slightly warmer, but not bad. All right, tell me what this product is right now. Tell me in the comments down below what this is slash is a dupe of slash an absolute copy of, and I don't know how they can get away with this. Even down to the little like pinch bit of the bottle. This is obviously a dupe for Rare Beauty. Oh my God. And even the little doe foot is similar. They've got like one of those little like square doe foots. So this is called, uh, this is another one of the Lake Rain Beauty products. And uh, I have no idea what shade I got this in. I'll try and link it down below, but let's give this a shot. And this cost me, Notes, notes, notes. Two pound twenty-four. Madness. It's actually a really pretty color as well. I'm gonna add quite a bit of blush because I don't have like much color in my face other than literally beige. The Rare Beauty Liquid Blush is like super pigmented and I just remembered that as I put this on my face, but luckily this isn't as pigmented, which might be a pro, might be a con, depending on how you look at it. But considering how much I just put on my face, I'm quite happy that this isn't as pigmented as the Rare Beauty stuff. It's a really pretty color though. I actually prefer it to the one that I have. I forget what color I have, but it's a really, really nice color, bruh. Yes. Like this is 100% a trust the process situation right now. You know how we do with these sort of things. We always make it work, even if we have to do like 12 hours of blending throughout. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were scamming me. I'm actually loving this. All right, it's powder time. And this is obviously a blatant dupe slash rip off of the Ben Nye powder. This is called the Fauna Beauty Luxury Powder. Um, and I think I got it in just like a banana shade or something. They didn't have like a translucent. So I just figured I would get this. And this cost me £2.69. You know the drill, it's under eyes first. And if you don't know why I do my under eyes first, shh, that's a secret I'll never tell. No, it's literally because I just don't want my under eyes to crease. So I go in with them first. And I'm not actually looking in a mirror right now. I'm literally looking in my viewfinder just to see how it looks. That looks absolutely fine. No issues with that. Oh, dude, this looks fine. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we're gonna go on to, for once I'm, I've actually come prepared. I'm now like checking my list. Now we're gonna go on to my face palettes once I've set the rest of my face in place. Right, now we're gonna move on to this face palette here because I need a little bit of bronzer and I don't know what this, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a dupe of anything to be honest, but this cost me £2.24 for a whole ass face palette. It's a little bit tiny, but if it does the job, then cool. Right, looks like this. And again, it looks a bit more cool tone than it looked on the website. So I'm hoping this will like bronze me up a little bit so I don't look completely gray, but they've also got like a highlighter here. Um, I'm guessing you can use this as like, oh my God, a like face palette and an eye palette. Look at this freaking highlighter. Boom. But let's see what this looks like. I'm hoping it looks a lot better on my skin than it did in the swatch. It's a bit cool tone, but I feel like we can maybe make it work. And also it's got a nice little mirror in this palette as well. It's like more cool toned than I would normally choose, but it's actually not bad. That's why I put loads of blusher on to kind of like warm my face up a little bit. Yeah, you know what? It's not my favorite, but it's also not too bad actually. Next, highlighter. And I got a few different highlighters. Obviously you saw the one in the previous palette. I also got this little palette here, which again, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, like this kind of size, but still. We're not gonna judge, but this is called the Magic Casa um, for highlighters, professional makeup in the shade 02. And this cost me £1.34. So I'm actually not like even remotely mad at the size of it because it cost me less than like a Freddo bar, realistically. But I picked this up because I feel like this is potentially like inspired 
by a Huda Beauty palette. You know, they did like the, the Nymph Glow highlights or something. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of giving that and I really want to try out this shade here. So let's give this a little swatch. Again, this would be really good as like eyeshadows. Okay, so in comparison to the other one in the palette, that's what this one looks like. This one looks way more up my street, but you've also got this like super icy colored one, which actually looks really, really nice. Doesn't look as bright as the other one. You can see it's got like a similar sort of tone, but it's not as pigmented. So it's giving you more like shimmer as opposed to actual pigment. So I think I'm gonna mix those two shades together, add a little bit of highlight. But before I do that, I, is this it? it I'm having to read a lot here. Yes. Okay, it doesn't say it on the box, but I will insert a picture of what it's like marketed as and sold as. It says mashed potato highlighter. I, I didn't even like care how it looked. I was gonna buy it because it said it's a mashed potato highlighter. Now I'm sure that's maybe some sort of like lost in translation kind of situation, but um, I put a chicken nugget on my face. This is me putting mashed potato on my face as well. And this by the way, cost me £1.79 and I got it in the shade 02. Boo! Oh, it's green. It's green. There goes the packaging. I've always wanted to put mashed potato on my face. So it's like a duochrome highlighter. It's actually really pretty. It's that one there. Oh, it's like invisible here. Boom! It's like a bluey, kind of like greeny sort of tone. I might add a little bit of that to like my brow bone, my maybe like a little bit of like the top of my cheekbone or something. Who knew you could do this with mashed potato? It actually looks really, really pretty. Look at that. Imagine that like all over your eyeballs. But for now, I'm gonna take a little mix of these two shades here, give them both a little wiggle. And let's see what this can do. Oh, it's there. It is definitely there. And by the way, the packaging for all these products, like obviously some of them, I mean, all of them are cheap to be honest, but it's actually like really decent packaging. That actually looks really good. Like, hello. Yeah, yeah. £1.34. Yeah, okay, sweet. So now I'm gonna try the mashed potato highlighter just a little bit. I don't know if it will work better with like your finger or a brush or what. I'm just gonna try it with a brush for a minute and do a tiny bit right at the top. Can you see that? Oh, you can. Oh my God, the way that that hits the light, that's freaking dope. Okay, you can see it's like shining, shimmering, splendid. Add a little bit right at the top and it's like, hello, are you blind yet? Oh, you're not? Okay, well, let's add some more then. That actually looks really pretty. It literally like disappears on your skin when you're not like hitting the light. Thumbs up for the mashed potato highlighter. Who knew mashed potato could look so fabulous? Ding. A potato on a potato. You all know how much I love doing fake freckles and I've seen things like this on TikTok, but I've never tried them. But this is called the Daryl Freckles Liquid Air Cushion. So it's like, one of those like cushion foundation, whatever it is products. But for your freckles, there's nothing in this lid. Okay, but look, it's got like a little stabby stab. I guess I take this bit off. Yes, okay, so it's got like a little like cushion here. And so you shove this in here and pick up all the products, covers it. And I haven't seen this product in particular on TikTok, but I've seen products like it. And like, actually, if you guys can see, if I just show you, you can see that like the little nibs of this brush head, I guess, are completely random, which is good. I'm gonna do some dots, press it in my finger and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna go straight in. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pat that in straight away because I have no idea how this is actually gonna look. Great. It actually looks really, this, Mm -mm. If you don't like fake freckles, you might not like this. That's totally fair. But, oh my God, that actually, like the randomness, rrr, XD, totally random. The randomness of this does make it look kind of natural. I feel like if you get the hang of this, this could give you really realistic looking freckles. Like maybe my freckles aren't the most realistic looking right now, but I'm a this product virgin right now but it actually looks, it looks pretty good. We're now gonna move on to one of the most blatant rip-offs that Timu, Temu, Team, Tem, T, E, M, U, whatever the hell it's called, have done. And it's this setting spray here. Like, it's got a barcode on it, but look at the packaging. It even says lock it. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like they've maybe covered up the barcode because otherwise there might be a lawsuit involved or something. But this is a setting spray and it is obviously a dupe for the KVD setting spray. 
Look at that. TLM, makeup setting mist, says lock it. It's literally like the same freaking packaging. So I'm gonna pop some of that on. I've tried this stuff before. Why does it smell like men's aftershave? Ollie's been away for a couple of days. <sighs> Haven't smelt a man for a while. Smells good though. Okay, spray, spray, spray. You know the drill. I always douse myself in this stuff. It's got a pretty intense spray, but feels nice and cooling, especially on this really, really hot day. But I cannot get over the fact that this is literally like a copy of KVD setting spray. It's literally the freaking same. So I'm gonna let that settle for a second. And then we're gonna move on to filling in my brows. Okay, brow pen, because you guys know I like to fill in my brows at the moment now that I've lifted them a little bit. This cost me £1.34, and this is called the Sila Liquid Eyebrow Pencil, but it's actually a pen. And the reason I got this is because the nib is so freaking thin, like I've never seen any eyeliner, brow pen, anything like that like it. The product does seem a little bit sheer, but I think we can still do a little something, so... I'm gonna give it a good old shake and just extend my brow hairs a little bit. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, there we go. It's literally the skinniest nib I think I've ever come across. Okay, I'm into this. I have to keep shaking it every so often just to make sure that all the pigment's coming out. So I, I do wish it was maybe a little bit more pigmented, but it's still doing the job. Like it still actually is doing exactly what I want. Spock eyebrows initiated. Okay, the nib is filling up a little bit now that I've like done my foundation and everything. So if you are using this, I'd maybe suggest you doing your brows first, just so they're not picking up any excess product, but they're still doing the thing. Now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. And honestly, even though I knew I picked up 26 products, I did not realize how long it would take for me to actually put them on my face. So I'm gonna try and whiz through a lot of these products, but I got this palette here, which cost me, £2.69. Ah, uh, why did it close? It's so difficult to open. So there's 10 shades for £2.69. I'm gonna focus mostly on this shade down here and do like a full on like cool tone smoky eye. And yeah, we're gonna whiz through this because I've got a lot of things to show you. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here and you've seen me do a cool tone smoky eye so many times. So I'm just gonna tell you guys like what I think of the actual products. It's there, you can see it. That ain't half bad. It's actually blending out really well. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more with the lighter shade in the palette, just to like soften it up a little bit on my brow bone. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go straight in with the dark color because I'm gonna blend it out with some of the lighter colors in a second. So this is like a really nice, like deep gray shade. And it's actually pretty pigmented. I might put some of that mashed potato in the center of my lid in a minute which is a sentence I never really thought I would ever say. And pop that right in the center. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love mashed potato on my face. That is so nice. I actually prefer it as like an eyeshadow over a highlighter. That looks insane. That mashed potato right in the center of my lids. Yes. Okay, next up is the cheapest product that I bought that cost me less than one pound. This cost me 98 pence. And this is obviously like a dupe for one of my favorite liner pens that I always use from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's just this pencil liner that's like brown on one side. And then on the other side, you've got more of like a sort of nudie color. Doesn't feel as creamy, but it's also probably like a 20th of the price. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that in my waterline and hope I don't go blind. And just see how this looks. Okay, it doesn't seem as pigmented and creamy. Uh, it's done like 10%. I'm just trying to like warm it up a little bit, but it doesn't really seem to be doing too much. And being honest, I didn't have like the highest hopes for this just because it was like one of the cheapest products that I bought. I feel like it'd be good if it was like right, like on your lash line, not your waterline, but like right in your lashes. Cause it does seem to be applying there more than anything, but yeah, that one's a bit eh. Like the Charlotte Tilbury one's way better, let me tell you. Now for liquid liner, I have this little pen here that doesn't seem to be a dupe of anything in particular, but I got it in like a brownie sort of shade. And again, it's got a super fine nib. So I'm gonna do a little wing and like a little inner corner ting as well. Very pigmented. I really like the skinny nibs that we've got going on at the moment. Why is this all working so well? That looks so freaking good. Okay, we need to do mascara now. So this here is called the Queen Mascara. And again, I don't think it's necessarily like a dupe for anything. If it is, let me know down below. But it's the 4D Curling Cool Black Mascara. And I got this one because the packaging looked like it was really, really freaking cool. <laughs> it looks like a vibrator. 
I ha not that I would have any idea what any of those blasphemous things look like, but it literally looks like a vibrator or some kind of butt plug or who knows. This is picking up my lashes really well. It's the exact kind of one that I usually tend to like anyway. I am going to finish up my mascara, do the other eye, and then we've got lips and false lashes to do. And then we're done. I feel like this video has been like 12 hours long, but I'm gonna finish up and then I will see you guys in a second. Okay, did the other eye, also popped on these lashes, which are these bad boys here. And even though I feel like they're maybe like a tiny bit short, they're actually really, really nice. Like I just had to cut off like, I don't know, like a centimeter off them. And yeah, they look really, really nice. I really like the band of them as well. So now we're gonna move on to lips and I have so many different lip products to try out because honestly, you'll see in a minute. But the first one I wanna try, because I'm probably not gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day, is this little guy here. You guys know I love a green lipstick. I love green, blue, gray lipstick, all of that. And this is called, I actually have absolutely no idea. It's a C-M-A-A-D-U, Gmadu. But it's basically got a, like a bullet lipstick on one side. And then it says that it's a gloss, but it's what looks to be like a liquid lipstick. So, oh, looks like that. It smells very like fruity. I think I'm going to, you know what? I'm gonna try a bit of the lipstick first. And this by the way, costs 99p and they had loads of other shades as well, but let's see what this is like. It's taking a second to build up. I look like an alien. Okay. It is a bit sheer. Feels moisturizing, but it is like very, very sheer. Wouldn't be as bad if you had a lip liner, but on its own, it looks kind of dodge. Like I know it's a green lipstick, but mm, yeah, not 100% sure. I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick now, just to try that over the top. Cause this seems more pigmented. Again, it's definitely not the most like opaque green liquid lipstick I've tried. On its own, it's not great. Like you can see it's like, a bit sheer around here. So I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna do more of like a nudie kind of lip. Okay, I then got a selection of like kind of fun lipstick options. So I got this and uh, this is called the Little Bear Land Velvet Lip Mud. That's literally what it says on the box. But I got this because look how fucking true it looks and you know it's probably gonna make me cry. It comes with a keychain. No, honestly, I'm about, I'm like TMI, but I'm about to come on my period and this is making me want to cry. It's a tiny little bear. And then you twist his head off, which is maybe a little bit terrifying. And it's like a a mousse, like a liquid lipstick stain kind of mousse situation. It kind of reminds me of like a soft matte lip cream. And then the most expensive thing that I got was the Julia Pop Capsule Velvet Lipstick. And look at them. They're these little pills. I've seen Winky Lux do something like this before. These cost me four pounds and four P. So still like super affordable. And basically they're just loads of teeny tiny little pill shaped lipsticks, which I think are really cute. Like imagine popping these in your handbag. I don't know what like all the colors are. I'm trying to like get some of them out. I want to see what this gray one's like. But all you tiny, oh my God. Okay, it's a little bit messy, even though this is the first time you're touching it. It's a little bit messy. But this is the gray one and they're actually really pigmented. Imagine this in your little handbag on a night out or something and you just wanna touch up your lipstick, you can do that. So I might use one of them in a minute. And then I also got, because honestly the packaging was just kind of hilarious. They like look like a little packet of cigarettes. They're called the Little Smoke Lipsticks and I think they're like, yeah, four lipsticks in here. And I'm gonna go in with the shade um, number two and just swatch that for a second. Again, like insanely pigmented. And again, these are really skinny as well. So they could work really well in your handbag. Now I'm curious about what the other colors are like. Oh, that one looks a bit more like a bit of me. Oh, that's yes. That is a me kind of color. Okay. So I then, before I go on and actually try some of these, I also have a lip liner somewhere that I personally think looks a lot like the Kylie Cosmetics lip liners. And this one, I have no idea what shade it's in, uh, 008. This cost me £1.34 and it's like a little bit more of like a coral color than I thought it was gonna be, but it still looks good, looks pigmented, all of that. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, these are like insanely pigmented. I think I'm gonna cover like all of my lips in this and then use one of the other lipsticks in a second. That's actually quite a nice color. It's a bit more of like a peachy coral than I would normally go for. But yeah, it feels really good. 
pigmented, creamy, and it also feels like waxing on my lips so it doesn't feel like it's gonna smudge or anything. Okay, I think I'm going to use uh, shade number one in like one of the little cigarette lipsticks because I really like that colour. I'm gonna go over the top of that. Oh, they've got almost like a, I don't know, it smells like a really nice perfume. It's almost like musky. Obviously I know the lip liner and this colour don't necessarily match, but I'm just gonna try and like do the best that I can. Okay, I mean, once I've like sharpened that up, that actually looks pretty nice. So now, I think this might be the last product. I have this like lip gloss, lip glow, oil stuff here. And I was like shooketh when I saw this on the website because this product that I think is supposed to be duping has only really just come out. Oh my God, it's so much brighter than it looked. I thought it was gonna be like a nice nudie color. This looks almost identical to the NYX like fat oil, I think it's called. It says it's the lip glow oil. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Again, it smells really sweet and pop a touch of that in the center of my lips. I've actually not tried the NYX one yet. So let me know what you guys think of it. But that feels nice. I'll show you guys what the color looks like on its own. You can see it's like quite a nice like neutral pinky sort of tone. Just gonna like tap that in a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and sort my hair out because I've been sweating and yeah, I knew my hair would look like this. Stunning. I'm going to just like carve up my lips a little bit and just make them look a little bit more neater. And then I will show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, this is the finished look. And honestly, if you put this on my face without me knowing like where all the products are from, I would not believe you if you told me how like cheap everything was and where it actually came from. I've got to hand it to you. Timu, Temu, Tem, 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 whatever your name is. I'm sorry that I thought you were a scam. And I'm sorry to you guys that DM me because I thought that was a scam as well. I will be replying to your DMs later on this evening. Uh, but yeah, I'm really freaking impressed with it. I'm not like the biggest fan of the lips. Um, like I feel like the products maybe individually are all right. I'll try out the other products, maybe like a TikTok or something like that. But yeah, the lip product, like there is something slightly off, but it's still fine. But the eyes, the base, even though it does look a little bit like oily, on camera right now. First of all, it's freaking boiling hot right now. And secondly, obviously I have my lights in front of me, but like in person, it just looks glowy and actually like not natural. Cause obviously I have a whole freaking face of makeup on right now, but it looks really, really nice. Like in person, non camera, it does just look a little more glowy. And I still think it looks good, honestly. Like I'm actually really, really happy with just about everything I put on my face. The only prog, 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 prog the only prog I wasn't really that much of a fan of was this liner. The brow pencil or brow pen could have been a little bit more pigmented. And then like I said, the lip products maybe aren't like my favorite thing in the world, but otherwise I am really, really impressed and I will be doing more orders. So anyway, I'll leave all the links down below as I can. And if there's any discount codes or whatever, cause I know they do tend to do quite a lot. I'll leave them down below as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should I do another one of these? Cause they had so many other products. So let me know if you guys want me to do like a part two of this or something. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Scrub off all the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna film another video. It's gonna be a long day. I am sweating so hard right now. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.